So as you can see, I kind of did an overlap over here. Um, so when we're putting the fiberglass on, we're going to do a little bit more. So uh, we're going to probably do a right around here. Um, and then afterwards, when we peel off the foam, uh, we have a little bit more to work with so we can trim it down to exactly where we want it. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty straight, pretty flat. Right, so that's all done. Uh, the front's done as well. We can go ahead and begin fiberglassing. So I picked up a roll of this fiberglass off eBay for like 50 bucks. Now you're going to need fiberglass resin. So I'm just going to use one of these styrofoam plates. Um, make sure you wrap it with foil. If you just use a styrofoam, it will eat through. And you are also going to need a lot of paintbrushes. So if you don't have any, go to Walmart, pick a few of them up because they are basically going to be a one-time use. So the front fenders are already completely dry, the backs are still drying. I'm going to go ahead and start trimming out the fender uh, and then we're going to take off the foam as well. So as you can see we have a lot of extra on the sides, so we're going to go ahead and start trimming it down. So now that it's mounted where we want it, I'm going to go ahead and go over it one time with 180 grit sandpaper. Using one of these guys and then it'll be ready for Bondo. So this is where we're at. This part's already pretty much completely smooth. Still need to sand this part down in here. And then we're gonna go into the edges and sand those down. So we have the front fender pretty much uh, as smooth as possible. Uh, now we're gonna spray it with this filler primer. We're gonna do about three coats. And then once that is dry, we're gonna do a wet sand of a thousand grit. And then once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and start the paint. So I went ahead and redid the passenger side fender. Uh, added a little bit more Bondo on there, smoothed it out. You can kind of see how many layers actually go into it to make it completely smooth. Uh, so don't expect just to do one layer and then you're done. Um, I think this is four or five, maybe even six layers. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting this with uh, filler primer. Um, I still need to finish the driver side just a little bit um, and I need to smooth this out a little bit but other than that it's all pretty much smooth and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the edges of that and where the gas tank is. So 
So these are painted. Um, you kind of see the design I'm going to be going for, at least for the front ones. Uh, the backs are done. The only one that's left would be this one back here. And I kind of left this one unpainted so I can kind of show you the process. All that's left to do on this one is trim it just a little bit right there. We're going to fix that crack. Um, and that's just very thin uh, fiberglass that I kind of sand it through. So we're going to patch that up from the other side and then we're going to bondo it again, sand it down, and then we're going to fix this little hole right here as well. So I got the primer sprayed on there. Now we're going to do a wet sand of 800 grit. All right, it's all sanded down and good to go. So we're going to go ahead and let it dry and then we will be ready for our paint. So it turned out pretty decent, I'm not going to lie, it could have been a lot better, but to be honest, I don't really care. I, I am going to be uh, repainting it anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. So that is how you make a white body um, out of fiberglass. I'm going to go ahead and paint it, so if you want, you can stick around and see the finished product. Um, but keep in mind that my spring rate is very high, so you might not want to uh, go this tight on the fitment. Um, so if you're scared of, you know, cracking the fender, um, you might want to space it out a little bit more. Um, but if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing, you're painting the fender red. So the fenders turned out amazing uh, and they actually held up pretty well. I drove down to, uh, to LA and back, which is about 400 miles each way. And the only thing that got messed up was the plastic dip on this wheel, which is an easy fix, just peel it off and respray it. But other than that, the fenders took it pretty well. They were rubbing pretty much all the time. see that it's literally on the tire 